Yeah, that's Glenn checking in with you. Uh, so this is part two of our epic Jester King weekend here. Uh, yesterday we had the absolute pleasure of enjoying the Noble King, which I thought was fantastic and complimented a nice afternoon nap in the sun quite well. Um, today, what I uh, did was break into the Witchmaker, which is their rye IPA. It comes in at 6.8% alcohol by volume, features five different hops, Centennial, Cascade, Simcoe, Warrior, and I'm forgetting one. Uh, that, however, is not important. What is important is, A, it's a freaking phenomenal beer, and B, what I made to go with it. Let's check this out. Uh, for something quick and easy for lunch, get the family fed today, I decided to do up some Cajun pork chops, uh, garlic salt, black pepper, cumin, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, a um, whole bunch of goodness. Uh, a little bit of parsley. Uh, you can also use sage if you want. Sage is more typical. Uh, I te tend not to do things so typical. So there you go. Um, but as you can see, threw it on the skillet, did it up. It uh, looks absolutely delicious. And the idea here is that the plethora of spices in this is going to mix with the funky fruity esters of that. And uh, I'm going to have one happy tummy. Uh, so that's the Witchmaker. That's Jester King. That's Austin, Texas. Uh, support them. Um, I, uh, I can't get them here in Atlanta on the regular. But if, if we make the demand, I assure you they will make the beer. So that's it for right now, guys. I'm going to grub. Get out of here. Peace.